Hey guys, Dave here. Today on Steel Euphoria, thought we'd take a look at one of these fellas here sitting on the workbench. Today we're going to choose the beautiful, beautiful USA made from Queen blue, Smooth Blue Bone Rail Splitter. And I'll try to get you a shot of that beautiful smooth bone they did with that that blue color nice and dark and light and rich and nice and smooth and even just all kinds of good stuff going on there you'll see the pile side there has a little bit lighter goes to darks it's got almost a sea green beautiful color on it just absolutely love it I love, I love, oh, these old queen pocket knives really do it for me, and the rail splitter pattern is something that I really do enjoy. These little guys are built like tanks, they're made with care, you got that beautiful D2 blade, D2 blades to work with, there's a shot of the spines on those blades, you got three blades there packed into a two spring design. Just absolutely beautiful. Anyway, this guy here, this rail splitter measures in at 3.75 inches closed. And this little pocket tank has an overall weight of 3.6 ounces. Um, I've got some sow bellies that I like to tote around. One of my favorite queen, or my, one of my favorite case knives of all time. I'm going to get about the same weight. This might be a little bit lighter than some of the sow bellies I carry. But man, what a treat. What a treat it is to put this in the pocket and tote it around with you. Anyway, how'd they do here? Got those, get the fingerprints off of there for you. Got those beautiful nickel silver bolsters next to those gorgeous smooth blue pants that she's wearing. You got your Classic queen shield there set in real nice, real nice and flush, nice and smooth to the touch. Let's check out our back springs, our liners, how'd they do? Any voids? <clears throat> Pardon me, any voids, any gaps? And you see down here on the bottom side, you got dual brass liners for the design. Get those three blades to fit in there real nice and snug. But look at that, there's just not a gap anywhere really. Nice and smooth, nice and even, nice and flush. Everything looks real nice on this one so far, just beautiful. Of course you got your brass pins set off the color of that beautiful blue bone. Maybe a little bit of a gap here on the bone where the bone comes to the bolster. You can kind of see there, I'll get you a close-up shot of that if I could. A little bit of a gappage. Nothing to, uh, nothing to really get excited about. But man, what a beauty. Let's, uh, let's open this guy up here and see what makes her tick. See our main blade, it's nice and smooth. Good, strong pull, good seven pull on that one. Nice, and boy, I'll tell you what. Oh, glorious snap, good lord. Just nice, nice and even and smooth and whoa, what a snap on her. Just a beautiful snap on her. That main clip point blade. And see that queen cutlery number 63 pattern for the rail splitter tool steel. You got your D2 on that clip point blade. Nice wedge grind on top. Just love, love that. Absolutely beautiful. There's a shot of the backside of her for you. She hasn't yet met the uh, the stones. This is a factory edge on this one. I just pretty much use them until I need to sharpen them. Every once in a great while, I got so many knives jumping around anymore here. But absolutely gorgeous. Let's see if I can get a good shot of the stampings on here for you. You got your queen stamp with your DFC, your Daniel Daniel's family cutlery. Good old man in the USA. 
absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful. And how's our closing snap going to be on this one? We kind of saw a preview of it earlier, but she's nice and smooth. You can feel some little, little, little tension coming on right here, and whammo. She's closed for business, boys. Really nice centering on that guy, too. Really don't feel any rub or anything on that main blade. Just an absolute beautiful, beautiful main. Let's check her secondary. Nice little pull on that. Nice, about a six. Good little snap on the open. A sheep's foot. A little working blade. Little do it all. Little do this. Little do that. Shot of that nail nick on that front side. Bit of a swedge grind there on top. Nice little working blade there. I love the uh, the grip on this. I got extra large hands and wear extra large gloves but I'll tell you what boy she's got an absolute fantastic fantastic grip um, even for for a guy of my size how's our closing action on this one good tension on her nice and smooth glorious just a nice snap on the close boy she means business just absolutely so, so incredibly beautiful, boy. I'll tell you what. Let's check out that third blade on here and see what we're working with. Got a nice little pen blade. Nice smooth pull. Good little snap on the open. Look at that gorgeous pen blade. Just a beautiful, beautiful knife. Incorporate all those three options in there into that two spring design. I'll tell you, these rail splitters are something else. Getting kind of hard to find these days. You kind of have to do uh, do your hunts, do your searches, hit your local shows up, gun show, knife show, search online. You can find them, they're out there, but they are uh, few and far between anymore. Good tension on that close. Nice and smooth there. How's, how's this one snap? Oh, she's comfortable. Not too strong, not too light. A little bit of blade rub there you can see towards the tip. You can kind of feel it when she closes. But oh my goodness. Just the beauty of her. Boy. Really like what Queen did back in the day. Absolutely gorgeous pocket knives. Guys, as always, thank you for watching. Thanks for sticking around. And until next time.